fish? We had a no, I have no a whole box of this. Why do we even have Swedish fish? Man, they're delicious. Oh, they are delicious. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, pebbles! Oh my gosh! What are you doing? <laughs> Bad oh! penguin! Bad penguin! There's all the fish. What in the world? Well, this is just I want the Swedish fish. This week on the radar, we're talking about the holiday festival, December 6th at Biggs Park. Stick around, check it out. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of On the Radar with Fort Bliss MWR. My name is Chris Bone and I work for Fort Bliss MWR Marketing. I know what you're thinking. What a ridiculous tie. I'd like to say thank you to uh, our guest today for uh, bringing me this gift and uh, forcing me to wear it on camera in front of all you wonderful people. Uh, Mr. Eddie Ariola, special events uh, on Fort Bliss. And uh, today he's brought with him uh, a very special guest named Pebbles the Penguin. So uh, hello to both of you guys. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for coming by and talking to us a little bit about this. So um, we're talking about the uh, annual holiday festival happening here on Fort Bliss today. So this year it's called Underneath the Northern Lights. Correct. Um, let's talk about it a little bit. So what day and what time? All right. So the holiday festival is on December 6th at Biggs Park from 5 to 9 p.m. Um, there's a couple of things going on that day, and we're looking to have a great, a great, very fun time. Cool. So this is going to be outdoors um, at the park, but we all know we live in El Paso, which has a pretty, pretty nice uh, climate. Right. Um, and just in case things are less than nice, we've got some heaters lined up that that'll be available for folks to warm their hands by. Oh yeah, we get, there's a, a couple of heaters spread throughout the park. Um, so if you get cold, just go stand by next next one of those, and you'll be fine. Um, okay. Um, you mentioned, uh, we were talking about this a little bit earlier, that you guys are handing out, you guys, you guys have a system to try to help defeat the long line to wait in line for a picture with Santa Claus, which is one of the main draws for uh, something like this, right guys? So um, how, what's your plan um, for doing that? So with the pictures for Santa, uh, we tried this last year and it worked very, very well. So what we're going to do is as soon as you enter the park, someone's going to be there to hand you a number. Um, the number corresponds with a certain time frame that the pictures will be taken, so you don't have to go in, stand in line, wait over there, and miss out on all the other fun activities we have going on. So what it does is like a, it's similar to like a boarding group on an airplane when you're getting in there, so that you've Correct. got groups that come at specific times based on the numbers that they receive when they enter the park. Correct. Cool. So then you don't end up spending such a long time uh, standing in line. Right. There will be a line, but it'll be much shorter, hopefully. Um, Correct. And so this will mitigate that. Awesome. By the way, um, I love, I think this is the first time we've ever had a penguin on the show. Um, right, right. Yeah. I, I mean, thanks for. The dog, there's been a chicken, but now we got a penguin. <laughs> dogs, chickens, and penguins. I uh, know. Oh, oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. Um, your tie, by the way, is uh, fantabulous. Let me just say that. Uh, very yeah. sparkly, very holiday, very festive, and very fun. Might I just say that the fact that you're wearing it, that's, that's, my, that's my Christmas present, holiday present, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh, happy holidays. <laughs> Thank um, you. So let's tell these folks a couple of other things um, that you were, you were talking to me about. Number one, there's going to be a cool sky lounge. Um, describe to me what uh, folks will see inside the sky lounge. So in, inside the Sky Lounge, as you know, uh, it's under the Northern Lights. Right. So we're going to project the Northern Lights. We're going to bring the Northern Lights to El Paso on the Sky Lounge. Like, you'll, you'll be able to see that. Um, also inside the Sky Lounge, we got free donuts, cocoa, and coffee. So if you're even cold, you can go inside the Sky Lounge. Right. And you can warm yourself up. Look at the lights. Enjoy yourself. Um, there's also another tent across from the Sky Lounge that will be showing a movie. Um, we're going to be putting on the Polar Express. So if you if you don't want the cocoa, you don't want the coffee, just you know go to that movie tent and just relax for a little bit while you wait for your number to be called. Cool. That sounds awesome. Um, on top of that, you guys are going to have a craft section like you do every year. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> well, thank you uh, there, Pebbles. So Pebbles is showing you exactly what crafts we have going on. So these are... Uh, scratch off ornaments scratch off ornaments so uh, it starts off all black 
and you use a special pen and you create your own ornament, like the different colors, as you can see, these are already pre-made. Holiday Fest 2019. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So then, so then you guys will have uh, all of these different shapes and stuff, and so kids can design them with their parents, um, depending on what their what their tastes are. Right. Um, you just go over there, ask for which one you want. You can either get the flying reindeer, or sitting reindeer. There's a penguin here as well, which I'm pretty sure is Pebbles' favorite. Um, <laughs> so you can just choose whichever one you want, and then you just sit there with your kids and you color it out make them be creative, decorate it. Um, they got, it's it's look, free, right? It is all free. And then they have Very like cool. little things that you can rope it up and stick it on the tree Excellent. at home or in your office. Very cool. Very cool. So on top of the ornaments, you guys got, got other stuff too, like uh, the make your own snow. Right. The snow is a lot of fun. I mean, you go over there, uh, as you know, it doesn't really snow in El Paso. Not very often. Yeah. So we decided to bring snow to El Paso. I mean, we're just bringing a lot of stuff to, to you know, Fort Bliss and El Paso. This is the first time I've seen a penguin in El Paso. So uh, there's a lot of firsts going on here. Not my first, but we'll talk, <laughs> we'll talk about it some other time. So on top of that, you got train rides, too, that'll we be going have throughout the park. Rides. Yes, and um, there's a, a little scenario while you're sitting in the train mm -hmm. where you can look at lights and enjoy the train ride, and you're not just sitting in there. Awesome. Yeah. Cool deal. Um, ice fishing. So describe to me uh, what the ice fishing uh, activity is going to look like. Uh, so you're going to have uh, fishing poles. You're going to stick the fishing pole into this little area that we have like a little caged area, and out will pop out a fish. Uh, not a real fish, of course, because that'd be a little weird. That would be um, a little weird. We have some little Swedish fish candies that cool. the kids can enjoy. So they just roll up their little pole, pull it out, and you got a Swedish fish. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so um, snow drifting on 360 bikes. So I understand that this is for those kids between eight and 12 years old because of the safety recommendations of the, of the bikes. But if you're between eight and 12 years old, tell me what that's all about. So we got these cool bikes that um, when you go pedal, you like kind of hit the brakes and they spin. Like, oh, so they I don't, drift. Yeah, they drift kind of. So ah. they, they spin, they spin exactly, you know, 360. You do some fun tricks with it. I'm, of course, too big to ride one of those, so Me I haven't too. been able to. Yeah. So, But, um, yeah, so you just ride it, spin a little bit, drift out, and then call it a day. It's, it's going to be fun. Good times. So um, sled races are another thing you guys are having at the park, too? Right. The sled races, uh, all that we ask is the kids be able to pull 40 pounds okay. at least. Um, so we're kind of switching things off a little. Normally, you know, when you see sled races, you see the little dogs pulling the sled. Right. Um, this year, our little dogs are going to be sitting in the sled, and we're going to be pulling the sled. So, you know, we'll race each other. Uh, maybe that's something me and you will do later. You know, I'll kick your butt. I could see that. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, and then you get a prize afterwards if you win or even if you don't win. All yeah. right. Cool. Like to be fair about it. Sounds good. Um, that sounds like a lot of fun, actually, and oh. I like the idea of switching that around so yeah. that the dogs are the beneficiaries of all that pulling. Um, so then, uh, on top of all that cool stuff that you have for families and for uh, kids of all ages, you also have an area specifically for those kids who are two and under right. um, so that they're not left out of the festivities, right? Yes, because, I mean, there's a lot of things bigger kids can do there, you know, the fishing, you know, of course, the two-year-olds can go on the train, but we wanted a specific area for the two-year-olds so that way they can have fun, you know, be all-inclusive to all members of the family. Yeah. There's nothing more irritating than when you go somewhere and the, the particular age group, you know, of the one child that you have, just uh, there's nothing for them to do. So I'm glad you guys thought about that, um, as you guys always do. Right. So uh, that's awesome. So that brings us to um, my favorite part of this whole thing, and that is uh, what we've got in front of us. So let's address the elephant in the room. What am I looking at right now? <laughs> what is this? Well, elephant or an igloo in the room. Ah, yes. So, um, igloo in the room. This is an igloo. Uh, it, it's part of the igloo contest that we are running. Uh, everything must be edible. As you can see, it's made out of bread, uh, powdered sugar, and held together by pretzels. So, I mean, everything on here with the exception of the board that's holding it is edible. I can actually pick this up right now and destroy it. 
You mean by eating it? By eating it, yes, of uh, course, of uh, course, of okay. course. Um, All right, yeah, I was thinking, why would you destroy this beautiful work of art? <laughs> um, but so then what we're saying is all of this stuff, the, the whole scene, everything we're seeing except for this plastic base that it's all sitting on um, is edible. You can eat it, yes. All right, so then this ties into the build your own egg loo contest, right? Right. All right, so what are, what's, the, what's the deal with the contest? Um, so, um, with the contest, uh, you go at your house, you're going to build your own igloo, you're going to bring it to the park uh, no later than 7.30. Um, on the day of the on event. On the day of on the event. December 6th, okay. Correct. So, December 6th, 7.30 p.m. And uh, we're going to have some judges there. They're going to judge it on three categories. And the categories are most technical, most extreme, and most creative. Oh, cool. Yeah. I wonder what an extreme edible igloo would look like, but that sounds, Probably that sounds like fascinating. Probably like this, because this is ginormous. It's pretty extreme. <laughs> it looks extremely delicious. It, it does. It does look very, very delicious. Um, and so some of the caveats, though, are that it cannot be professionally assembled. So we ask that if you are a professional baker of some kind, that you allow uh, the amateurs uh, their time to shine and folks who, who, who are not professionals. Right, right, right. Um, and just remember that everything uh, having to do with this display has to be edible. Right. I, I, I have to be able to pick it up and eat it, minus, of course, the board that you put it on. All right. Cool. I mean, and if you want to get creative and make a board that's edible, that's on you. <laughs> I go the extra, extra mile, but um, you, you don't have to. As long as everything above the board is edible, you're okay. Cool. That sounds really cool. Um, and let's see. So registration is required. You can check out all the rules for that on our website, bliss.armymwr.com. Um, that is also where you can register. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. So the top prize for each category, um, as this says here, is a $100 Visa gift card. Um, so, yeah, definitely participate, build an igloo, um, and uh, be a star. Yeah. Right. And one of the, the many things that's amazing about this is you get to spend time with family. You get to enjoy making your igloo. I mean, even if it's not the greatest one out there, you had fun making it, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, it's very similar to the way that um, MWR's cardboard regatta would work, right? So it, right. Becomes a, it becomes a family activity just in the preparation, and that is like 90% of the fun anyway. Right. Right? So right. like participating. And then what's cool is you, you've built this really, uh, really cool thing at the end of it. Correct. With yeah. some people that you love very much. Okay, so that sounds awesome. Let's just recap on some of these details. Number one, uh, underneath the Northern Lights is the annual holiday festival for MWR here at Fort Bliss. Um, it is happening on December 6th from 5 to 9 p.m. And uh, it's happening at Biggs Park. Biggs Park. Right, all right. And uh, let's see, the telephone number to call if you need any information is area code 915-588-8247. Um, and you can find information about registering for the igloo making contest on our website, bliss.armymwr.com, or you can check out links uh, on our Facebook. We'll probably have something in the description of this video as well. So, um, Pebbles, I, you didn't say much, uh, but I really appreciate you uh, turning up for this uh, interview and keeping Ed company. Ed, right. one more time, thanks for the gnarly Christmas tie. You guys might let me know what you think in the comments of uh, our Christmas tie. Who's this nicer, me or Eddie's? I Definitely don't know. mine. Yeah. It has a unicorn, man. Come yeah. on. Well, Definitely you know, nicer. Uni unicorns, man. Yeah. And, um, and if you guys do come out to Holiday Fest, you, you see me, say hi. Say what's up to Pebbles. Enjoy yourselves. Right on. <laughs> so thanks for coming by, Eddie. And thank you very much, Pebbles. Um, and thank you guys for tuning into another episode of On the Radar with Fort Bliss MWR. And uh, we'll see you guys at uh, the Holiday Festival. See you there. Park, December 6th. Bye. Bye.